I started cooking when I was 10 because I kept getting really bored of what my parents were cooking. So I, I started working restaurants when I was 12 because I read all these books and they were all kind of saying you need to work places to get better. Since opening the restaurant, people have changed the way they kind of talk about it. Before it was like, oh, kid with a pop-up and just kind of like doing his thing. It's like now it's like, no, he has like a permanent space and has to deal with all of the things that everyone else has to. The amount of things that go wrong in a restaurant every single day is truly absurd. You think of a dinner service like it's like a show. We're in the middle of the room. There's no hiding. There's no like being behind a curtain. And this happened once. Someone was coming up with the dessert bowls and dropped 20 glass bowls. And they all shattered. Yeah, I'm freaky on the inside, but what am I gonna do? Freak out in a dining room full of people? Like that's gonna ruin everyone's experience. The average person doesn't see every little detail, but in order to be the kind of restaurant we wanna be, I'm never gonna like, be just like, we're doing great. There's no way we can improve. That's sort of the mindset of someone who's just fine with kind of mediocrity. To me, everything's always terrible. The beans are a little bigger than I wanted and the emulsion's a little bit looser than kind of would look nice on the plate. And it's starting to sort of bleed into the broth, uh, making it cloudy. And the leaves on top, two of them are too big and the rest are too small. Can't show it, it all has to be on the inside. I can be freaking out, but need to go to a customer with a smile on my face and, and have a, a great conversation with them and, and present them a dish. And probably the only thing that's the reason that I can do that is because what I'm doing while everything's crazy is being grounded in this just like very simple act of like grilling something or sauteing something. But still, it's funny every time that you're like, oh, we had a terrible night. And then a guest is like, that was the best meal I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs>